When filling out your end of the year approaches to learning student reflection report, it's important to have what you wrote in October with you as well. Remember, you can check that. Just look at your school email and that's been sent to you, a copy of that. If for whatever reason you don't have that October information, maybe you weren't here or you can't find it, that's okay. You can still do the work today without looking at the October report. As long as you keep in your mind a kind of progression. Where was I at the beginning of the year compared to the end of the year? I'll read the directions. This reflection is not graded. Remember, it's written by you, for you your teachers, and your parents. It should be based on your work since the beginning of the school year. Think about the entirety of your year. As others will read your response, please give thoughtful responses using your best English. Take a moment to proofread. It would be really important. Thank you. And remember that we're asking you to think about your thinking. These approaches to learning are meant to give you a focus for your improvement and for strategies you can apply to become a better learner. All right, the majority of the report is you simply leveling yourself. And when you do that, you find the category like thinking skills, really important, I think, to read this description because it reminds you that there are different types of thinking. There's that critical thought, the creative thought, and then my personal favorite, transfer being able to apply something that you learn in humanities in an art class. And that kind of transfer across subjects is a really useful skill. So you think about all of those aspects and then you rate yourself reading those descriptions. Most of you probably going to advance a level. You might advance two if you had that. Do not, please do not feel the pressure to feel that you have to advance a level. If you were a learner in October, you might still be a learner in this category. You'll go through all those categories, and I'll scroll quickly as we go through. My computer will catch up. And again, we're just rating, but each time reading the descriptions below, because within self-management, quite a few different things to think about. If you get stuck at any point, please just ask the teacher in the room with you, and they'll do their best to explain to you what a particular thing might be. And after you've done your rating, then, we want you to start to think about a comparison. The first question that considers um, a longer response from you is this first, uh, this category where it says, in which of the ATLs have you developed the most effective skills? So thinking over the entirety of the school year, where have you had the most gains? Choose one. And then the same, think about what makes you proud. We asked you this in October, we want you to return to this in the end of the year. These descriptors are meant to help you be more specific. So if you're really, really proud about the advancements you made in self-management, many of you have made great advancements. In order for you to write specifically about how you've improved in your self-management skills, you just look at these bullet points and you might just pick a few of them, like seeing mistakes as a learning opportunity. If you did that and you had moments where you failed and you failed forward and you did that, with a good spirit and just a willingness to learn, then go ahead and write about that. We wanna know specifics about what you did. Or if you just said, I got so much better at organizing my time and not procrastinating, don't just write that. Tell us how, where, when did that happen? Okay, and you'll go through future improvement, I think makes sense. Again, we want you to think back, where were you in October and what were you trying to improve? You chose a focus for this year. And then we want to know what actions did you take in the year? Again, use these lists to help you be more specific, but you're not reading all of them. If you had chosen social skills as your area to improve, then you're just looking at these bullet points here and you're picking a few of them to help you write more specifically. Please do write thoughtfully and write completely use specific evidence. And then the very last question is just a general question. It is not required, but it's there. Is there anything else when you think about your approaches to learning that you think you wanna share? And that could be an idea for how you might improve as you go through your years here at FIS, or it could be just a question you have or a suggestion to the school to improve things. It's really anything that you want. 